Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, Zach here for Friday Night Flies. Once again, at Bass Pro Shops in Tawasson. We're at the White River Fly Shop today. Um, so today, after last week's marathon spay fly, I've got a really simple one for you. Um, I'm calling it the bucktail minnow, five minute minnow, whatever you want to call it. So this has got me, uh, the weather's been kind of crazy lately, kind of cold, wet, dreary. Um, so that's got me kind of thinking of warmer days in the springtime when the fry start hatching. So this can be a great little pattern for you to use for those pesky little uh, cutthroat. They're swimming around, smashing all the fry. Um, goes together pretty quick, doesn't use too many materials. Um, be using two of our uh, Solarize resins today. Um, they make this pattern very easy to go together. Do this one up in a variety of colors. I'll be doing kind of an olive green color. Um, you can do them up in uh, yellow and gray and all that stuff. And it's actually using uh, part of the bucktail you guys normally don't use. So good way to use up that whole tail if you got one. Um, all right, that's pretty much it. So let's head on down and check it out. All right, guys, there you have it, my bucktail minnow. Now uh, this one, I'm not claiming credit for. Uh, this one I found on Instagram, at least just a photo of it. I've been kind of playing with it a little bit. There's another version in the yellow. I've seen a lot of fry last spring that were definitely this color. They had the, the dark back and, and the yellow in the body, which was kind of cool. And here's another one that I did up. This is just a gray version with a pearl body. They're pretty cool. So they go together pretty quick, which is nice. No need to go uh, too crazy. So let's get a hook in the mongoose here. I got a Mustad 9671 size eight. You can definitely go a size 6 if you like as well. I find this is a pretty good overall hook size though. Does the job just fine. So there we go. Thread, just some 210 Danville in white. You can use uh, red if you like or black, whatever you like. Just start that on the shank. Just move some of the stuff out of the way here. Like I said, this one goes together pretty quick. Not many materials, which is nice. There we go. So now we're going to tie in our body material, which is just some Superfly Poly Flash in silver. You can use the pearl as well. That's kind of what it looks like. It's kind of like a flat braid, but more rounded, a little more bulk to it. So this I'm going to tie in just short of the eye for the length. That's just going to help build up the body a little bit. And I'm just going to quickly go up the front here, really pulling down on it. It's going to want to spin on you a little bit. Go. And then we can crank down on it. Nice thing about this thicker thread. Really reef on it, not have to worry about it. Just cut that little guy away there. Now, as I wrap this stuff, I'm actually going to pull down on it pretty snug. And this is going to kind of cinch it down. If you see, so that's just normal wrap. And then I pull on it, kind of cinches down. Hopefully that picks up there. So you don't want too bulky of a body. And just like so. so. This one does goes together pretty quick. Call it a five minute minnow, bucktail minnow, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not claiming credit for it, I just saw a photo and decided to give it a go. So now I'm gonna build a little bit of a bump here, a thread at the front. Kind of like so. Now, normally on bucktail, we're using the, the underside which is the nice pretty side with all the dye job. I'm actually going to use this top portion. So this is a good way to get rid of all that uh, extra bucktail that you got at home on those big chunks. Just because it does have some of the color still, but it's a lot darker. So a lot of the fry patterns have a darker back. So I find this uh, works pretty good as a material for it. Good, again, good way to use up those uh, that part of the bucktail that you wouldn't normally use. So I'm just cutting off a tiny clump here. Pretty sparse. Clean out the under fur like you normally would. Then we're just going to kind of pull out some of the longer fibers, kind of like so. Don't have to go too crazy with it. You can extend that back. You want them about an inch and inch and a half, just under two inches. You don't want to go too big. Got that measurement. Now I'm going to tie this in with a pinching loop right on top. A couple really snug turns there. We're just going to cover up those butt ends and build up a little bit of a head. Just like so. 
So again, you can use red here if you like to imitate some gills or some of that uh, egg sac that's there. This one, I don't really feel like doing that, so we're going white. Kind of like so. That's going to kind of flare up like so, which isn't a big deal. And we're going to whip finish. So that's the tying portion of this fly done. You could probably fish it just like this, and it would probably fish quite well. But we're going to add a couple more steps. So I got some Superfly tape eyes and small. This is just the uh, silver color. You can use this or the pearl. I find taking a dubbing needle makes it a little easier to pull them off the card. I'm going to place one on my side. Kind of like so. Just kind of squished against the side there. And we're going to do one on the other side. Kind of like so. That's kind of how I want them sitting. Hopefully you can see that there. Now I'm going to take some of this Solarez Bone Dry, which is the really thin viscosity. You guys have seen me use this stuff a bunch before. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull back all that bucktail. I'm going to brush a little bit of the stuff on there because it's going to seep in. Another nice little dab. I'm going to put that right behind the eyes to help kind of seat them kind of how I want them. We're going to zap that. We're going to get the smoke going. Ooh, got a little bit on my finger there. I could feel that burning. Alright. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to pull back those fibers a little bit more. And I'm pinching them nice and tight. Kind of towards the side of the hook. You'll see why I do that at the end here. I'm just going to brush both sides. And zap it. That's pretty good. Now if you see the tail now, instead of it being kind of splayed out all over the place, it's actually pinched. It's made it quite thin, a little more profile, so it keeps that body shape, which is what we want. Now what we can do with this bone dry, we can come underneath. Nice little light coating on the sides just to get any stragglers. A little bit over the eyes. And zap that to cure it. Save that aside. Now I'm going to take some of this flex formula. Hopefully you can see that there. This is going to be the main part of our body. If we can get it to go here. There we go. Just going to roughly coat the body here. A little bit on the eyes, on the side, a little bit underneath, a little bit on the other side and the other eye. That should do it for us here. Now I'm just going to take a bodkin. I'm going to kind of brush this around just to kind of fill in all the gaps in the body. Get that kind of minnowy shape that I want. Again, experiment with colors on this one. It was in some lakes in the spring and we saw a lot of fry that hook up to some of the river systems around here. And they had this kind of general shape to them. Get it where you want. Again, fill in between those eyes, on top of them. A little bit of extra there, put a little much on there. Just gonna clear that eye out. Just clear that out. If you have a look there, kind of got a pretty good overall shape. It actually looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna clear that up. You can do this in smaller portions as well. It kind of works a little bit better to do it that way. It's easier to add than uh, to cure a whole bunch. This light cures just about everything, so I haven't had too many issues. If you're using any other resin, you'll definitely notice it kind of gets cloudy and such. Now, just one final coat here. You can use the bone dry, again, just to fill in any imperfections that we got. Just make it look really pretty. Again, not necessary. These patterns are going to get chewed up pretty good by the cutties, especially in our area. They're pretty ferocious predators. So there we have it. The five minute minnow. Check that guy out. There we go. Nice slow roll. What do you guys think? I think it's going to do quite well this spring. So, uh, 
let's head on up and sign out. There you go, everybody. There it is, the uh, Bucktail Minnow, 5-Minute Minnow, whatever you want to call it, the Instagram special. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one. It goes together pretty quick. Great way, great fly for cutties because they're just going to trash them. They go together quick. That sole res resin should definitely hold up too, so don't have to probably tie as many as you think you would. Um, yeah, we've got some more cutty flies coming your way as well in the next couple weeks. We'll see what's going on. How's it going, Bob? Okay. How's the, how's the body? I'm sore. <laughs> Bob's falling apart on us. <laughs> He's surviving. He's limping around like an old man because he is an old man. Um, yeah, so I got a couple more cutty patterns up my sleeve that I've been kind of messing around uh, when I was down in Seattle. Got some from the guys down in Puget Sound. Um, but yeah, they should work around here too, so they're pretty cool. Um, they're all quite easy to tie, which is nice. So stay tuned in the coming weeks. Uh, we've got some cool stuff going on in the shop. We're probably going to be getting a bunch of new stuff soon. Um, I'll let you guys all know when that stuff starts trickling in. I'm um, looking forward to that. Quality won't be right away, but it'll definitely uh, it's a bit of a process sometimes. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Come on in, check out the shop. Again, if you guys ever want to come in and tie, just pop on in. Uh, I got a bunch of materials and stuff like that here most days during the week, except for Wednesdays, I usually fish. Um, but yeah, come on in, say hello, come hang out, tie some flies, have a good time. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next week.